So recurrent neural networks. Let's say our task is to design to design a classifier, a classifier which essentially is a binary classifier which classifies to design a classifier to classify whether whether a movie review is positive or negative <coughs> sorry let's say that that is our task that's what we want to do right now our movie review is let's say movie reviews uh, sample or example movie review is like this this movie is awesome let's say this is a review right now this review consists of words right so let's say we have a data set of such review let's say our data set is d which is xi which are reviews right xi are these kind of reviews there are many reviews here right and why i are whether they rev these reviews are positive or negative that means why i can take either value 1 or 0 1 means positive 0 means negative and xi are like these reviews right so if let's for example this is x1 x2 might be x2 might be let's say this movie is bad this movie is bad right so that is x2 let's say for example so such reviews we have here these are reviews and these are the uh, uh, classes of these review that means whether that review is good or bad so we have such a uh, data set right let's say the size uh, 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 let's not worry about the size of this data set for now now <clears throat> we want to give these uh, reviews as input to our neural network now these reviews are words right? these review contains words like this movie is awesome right now we cannot give words as input to the network we need to convert these words words into numerical value so let's uh, we can use various encodings here but, but let's use a simple encoding called as one hot, one hot encoding one hot encoding right so what is one hot encoding so let's say uh, for example in our data set we have only three unique words hello Python world let's say these are three words in our vocabulary or in our dictionary so let's say this is word number one two and three so I want to encode these words by using one hot encoding so how can I do that so I need a vector of size three I need a vector of size three like this for encoding this hello for encoding hello this vector will be you know this as hello is word number one this is word number one two three for encoding hello only hello will be location will be one others will be zero for encoding this python how can i encode python so only python will be one others will be zero right for encoding world only world location will be one others will be zero that is how we can use one hot encoding to encode uh, the uh, uh, words into numerical values so now let's say in our data set in our data set let's say we have d we have we have d unique words right that means the size of our vocabulary is d in our data set uh, all of the reviews contains d unique words so we will need in order to encode these words we will need a vector we'll need a vector of size d right so we'll need a vector of size d for example right so d this 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 length will be d right first word will be for encoding first word it will be one others will be zero for encoding second word this will be one others will be zero 
likewise we'll have the vector of size d now with this knowledge uh, so let's design our classifier right so as this is the sentiment classification problem so we need uh, because the sequence of word matters here we need the recurrent neural network here so let's say our neural network uh, consists of uh, this this layer of neurons and uh, for example let's consider uh, the uh, review for our let's say we have two reviews here uh, our data let me write the data set again here our data set is d with xi comma yi right? and let's say x1 is x1 x1 review from here is x1 is x11 x12 x13 and x14 let's say there are four words in review one there are four words in review one this is word number one word number two word number three and word number four there are four words in review one similarly let's say we have x2 in which we have x21 x22 x2 three three words in word number uh, in review number two likewise if we have if i take ith review xi so let's say xi one first word of i review second word of i review third word of i review likewise let's say there are m words in i review right so likewise we, likewise we can represent this uh, reviews uh, so now let's take this x1 as example for uh, designing our neural network recurrent neural network so let's say this is our neural network now let's say there are 100 neurons here <clears throat> there are 100 neurons here now uh, at time t1 at time t1 time equal to 1 right or in the first step or time t equal to 1 we'll be giving this first word as input we'll be giving this first word as input this one this word as input to this neural network right so this is the let's say this is the only layer we have in our neural network this is the only layer we have in our neural network and at time t equal to 1 we'll be giving x11 that is first word of review 1 as input right so now here uh, the as we are giving this x11 as input here we will have a weight here let's call that weight as w1 right now uh, th these neurons here these neurons here <coughs> are let's say they can be either sigmoid activation unit or they can be tanh or they can be relu right now after now what will be the size of this w1 w1 will be as the size of this x1 is d dimensional vector because size of uh, we have used size of vector to encode this uh, words uh, as d d is the size of the vector which we use to encode these words as the size of uh, vocabulary is d we have assumed right so d is the size of the vocabulary so as we have here this is the size of x11 is d and this there are 100 neurons here so this will be d by 100 this w1 will be d by 100 right now this the, 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 we have activation functions here because these are neurons here right now when i input this with this weight matrix i'll get an output let's call this as this this output as o1 right now how i am getting o1 O1 is equal to after applying the activation function on this W1 x11 right so we are applying this activation function on W1 x11 we are getting this O1 right at every neuron this this function is being applied right that means on the, the, uh, again this this is vector uh, dot product right so we'll get a, an output this o1 will be output right which will be again a hundred uh, dimension vector because each neuron will, is producing output here right and there are hundred neurons so the size of this o1 will be hundred uh, hundred uh, vector of size hundred not not hundred dimension vector size of vector hundred right this was at time t1 now let's see what happens at time t2 
at time t2. We th this is the only layer. This is the single layer of uh, neurons we have, right? To the same layer at time t2, at time equal to 2, not t2, at time equal to 2, what I do is for the same to the same layer, right? I input I input uh, the second word now the second word this second word of review one x one two right and the same weight vector same weight vector w one right I input the second word and uh, and we will have same weight vector. Now along with this I also input I also input the output of first step this is the first time step right so the O1 is the output I'll input that output O1 of first step as input to the second step or uh, to the same network but at time equal to 2 this is O1 same output is going here right now again right so we will have the output produced here the output is O2 output of this uh, this second step is O2 now remember this is not the second layer this is the same layer same layer as this step as the first step only thing is we are giving the in different inputs at different time to the same layer right so now o2 will be if i write o2 will be w1 x12 plus i'm getting now we need a weight matrix here right so let's call this weight matrix as W2. Right? This is a different weight matrix than this matrix, right? So this is W2. So W2 into O2. W2 into O2, right? So that is how we'll get O. Sorry, W2 into O1. This is W2 into O1. W2 into O1. This one. So that is how I'll get O2, right? Now in the third uh, step or at time equal to 3 at time equal to 3 to the same network but at uh, one one unit plus time that is at time t equal to 3 to the same layer again we will have 100 neurons here now what will I input to this I will input the third word now third word here and weight w1 and also I will input uh, the output of previous step uh, here as input O2 and uh, O2 with same weight now weight is W2 right so this neural network will produce output O3 O3 and this O3 is again uh, O3 we can write equation for O3 like this right so we will get O3 here now at time t equal to 4 at time t equal to 4 to the same network to the same network or the same layer i'll be giving word 4 as input now at time t equal to 4 word 4 so this is x14 and weight matrix here is w1 and also i am giving input this O3 as input here with weight W2 same see these weights are same right these weights are same these weights are same these weights are same and now this let's say this uh, oh, oh, this will produce layer uh, layer uh, not layer 4 but step 4 will produce output O4 let's call this output as O4 now so let me O4 right now as there is no more word left here i can generate the output of this review right so now this review let's say the output of this review was y1 y1 right actual this is actual output of this review y1 because we have data set in the format xi comma yi so this is x and this is y1 y1 will be either positive or negative right so now we have to produce this output right now what will i do here i will I will take this output now output this uh, predicted output is either 0 or 1 it's a binary output so I will need only one activation unit or only one neuron in this layer 
here, right? I'll need only one neuron and that neuron will produce output Y predicted output that is let's call it as Y I hat Y I hat right and the weight here weight here is W3 this is a new weight again right so what we did here we took this output O4 and as there is no more word so we took the, we have taken this output and given it to the new new layer right new layer this is this is an activation layer now now this is not the same layer as this layer right so this is an activation unit a single activation unit right because we want a binary output this can be a sigmoid unit or logistic unit sigmoid sigmoid or logistic unit here this can be lo logistic unit here and that will produce output either 0 or 1 so y can be either 0 or 1 so now this is uh, this is the now, now this this function activation function here is different so why I had why I had is let's call this function here a G G of G of O4 into W3 this is a new vector new weight vector again right so there are three weight vector weight weights here weight matrices W1 W2 and W3 only three weight matrices so G is W3 into sorry y i hat is equal to g of w3 into o4 so that is how i get uh, this y i hat output right so if you look at this uh, this is the time axis this is the time axis we are going in time we are unfolding this network over time we are giving different words as input to this network same network right at different uh, point in time right with different inputs right okay so now if I redraw this, if I redraw this like this, let me redraw this. So these are not different layers as I'm saying, these are not different layers. They are the same layers. So this is now rather than writing this neuron let me call this this is activation function f here activation function f here layer there are different there are many neurons here 100 in our case with activation function f the same layer i am writing here this is the time axis right so here we give x11 as input here we give x12 as input x13 and here x14 right so the output produced here was given as input to this layer this was o1 this was o2 this was o3 and finally we got the output o4 right so this was at time t equal to 1 this was at time t equal to 2 time t equal to 3 time t equal to 4 now as there is no more word here what we did is we took this o4 and gave this o4 as input to a logistic unit or logistic layer and this produced our output y1 hat right so y1 hat so here also uh, i said y i hat but i can we can say it y1 hat right because this is review one review uh, this is review one so output is one y1 y1 hat so y1 hat is equal to g of w3 o4 g of w3 into o4 so similarly here uh, now now you see uh, the weight matrices are here this is w1 this is w2 all are w1 here these are w1s and these all are w2 right so and this is w3 right? only three weight matrices here w1 w2 and w3 now now the point to note is we have the same layer we have same network these are not different layers right to the same network we are giving different words as input at different point in time now up to layer one there is no uh, there is no output this o coming right so let's uh, let's create a dummy or pseudo o let's call it as o0 right and we we let's give this as input to this layer now this o0 can be a uh, vector of zeros it can be a vector of zeros or it can be a vector of random numbers right so just for the completeness right now this is how this recurrent neural network will work and the final output 
uh, uh, we are getting in terms of y1 so let no, no, usually in books where they represent this network like this so this is <coughs> xi right and they they are getting this output as yi yi and output of this layer is fed as input to the same layer this is recurrent layer right so why this is called as recurrent neural network because this same structure the same structure this structure is repeating over time right we are we are uh, we are giving inputs to the same network you know at different point in time so here also uh, same uh, same structure here same structure here same structure here that's why that that is that is called as recurrent neural network right so, the, the, so this is the symbol representing the recurrent neural network so this is f so that is how now for this recurrent this is the this is how we uh, gave review one as input to this neural network now what happens with review two let's say review two has three words right so in case of review through uh, review review two let's say it was it had three words x1 x21 x22 x23 right now in case of review two there will be this layer uh, and same layer will be repeated right so 100 neuron oh, okay rather than writing neurons here i'll write f only f f f same 100 units here same 100 units here same 100 units here right so i'll give x to 1 as input at time t equal to 1 and this will produce o o1 right and here at time t equal to 2 i'll give x 2 2 as input so this will produce o2 right and at time uh, and and uh, at time t equal to 3 i'll give x 2 3 as input and this will produce o3 but there is no no word here so he this output i'll give to the logistic unit and this will produce output y2 hat hat means predicted output predicted output right so again wait here w1 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 and wait here are w2 w2 and w2 so no here here weight is w3 right so this is not required because it's not going to the next layer there is no layer here right so so this weight is w3 so three weights again so only three uh, three times uh, three inputs will give for review two and we'll get an output right so that is how uh, this recurrent neural network work